Magandang magandang araw sa ating lahat at welcome dito sa ating EAG Online Filipino Service. Kamusta na kayo? Ngayon pong umagang ito ay makakasama natin si Pastor Raymond at siya po ang uh, magsishare ng salita ni Lord patungkol sa Petition on Prayer. Marahil ang bawat isa ay may mga panalangin na hanggang ngayon ay hindi pa nagkakaroon ng kasagutan. Madaming pumapasok na tanong sa, aki, sa ating isipan at nagsasabi marahil na bakit kaya hanggang ngayon ay hindi pa natutugon ang ating panalangin. Nalangin ko na sa ating pakikinig ng salita ng Diyos ay matagpuan natin ang sagot sa mga tanong ito. Hindi lamang po yan, makakasama natin Sister Jackie, siya po ay magbabahagi ng isang awit at kung alam po natin ang awit na ito ay maari tayong sumabay sa kanya na magpuri sa ating Panginoong Diyos. At uh, kung nais niyo po pala na magbigay ng comment habang tayo ay nakikinig sa salita ni Lord o nais niyo magbigay, mag-interact, ay maari niyo pong isulat ang mga ito sa comment below. At uh, hindi ko na po pakakahabaan ang aking introduction. Alam ko na ang bawat isa ay excited na na mapakinggan si Pastor Raymond sa kanyang pag-share ng salita ni Lord. Kung kaya't i-welcome po natin si Pastor Raymond. Good morning my fellow brother and sister in Christ from the Filipino service. Just this morning I want to share with you regarding petition of prayer. And um, I'm reading from Luke chapter 18. We are discussing about petition on prayer. So we know that this is a parable that all of us know very well. It's a parable of the persistent woman. And I want to share with you is this team is making a petition on prayer. So as we read on Luke 18 verse 1, Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. He said, in a certain town, there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared what people thought. And there was a widow in, the, in that town who kept coming to him with the plea, Grant me justice against my adversary. And sometimes he refused. But finally, he said to himself, even though I don't fear God or care what people think. Yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she wouldn't eventually come and attack me. And the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God bring about justice? for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night, will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they will get justice and quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on this earth? Let us pray this time. Father, we just come to you. Lord, I want to pray for the Word, that the Word will continue, Lord, to uh, minister to our heart and also minister to our daily needs. Father, we pray, O oh God, that as we listen to your Word, may your Word be a great encourage to our life each day. We commit to you this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You know, let me read again in Luke chapter 18, verse 1. Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. Friends, I want to share this lesson to each one of us here. And this lesson is teaching us to come to our Lord in prayer. Remember, Jesus is telling us we come to prayer, seek continually 
and never lose heart. So I have three objectives here as we discuss from today sharing. Number one is to teach us coming to our Lord and bringing our petition request to Him. I believe each of us here do have a prayer needs. So let us continue to bring our petition prayer day and night. Bring it to Him. Number two, to tell us not to get weary by making every petition in our prayer. I know sometimes it's a great challenge for us that as we bring to the Lord in prayer, sometimes we get weary. But what the Bible says in Luke chapter 18 is advice us not to get weary. And number three is to teach us to come to Him in every moment in our prayer. So this is a big challenge for us when we talk about prayer. Let me share you with this uh, cartoon, a picture boy every night when he comes to prayer before he goes to bed. No. And uh, this little boy is kneeling beside his bed on his bedtime prayer. And he always said this, Dear God, Uncle Jim still doesn't have a job. Sister still doesn't have a date for the social. Grandma is still feeling sick. And I'm tired of praying for this family and not getting results. Well, sometimes it can happen to us. Prayer was a problem to this little fellow. We got to ask ourselves, is this happened to us at times? Is this happened to us? Do we sometimes telling God, I'm tired praying for these matters? Well, my fellow friends, what Luke chapter 18, Jesus tells us when we come to Him in prayer, don't lose heart. You know, don't lose heart. If it wasn't a problem, then why are there so few people who take prayer seriously? You know, I just want to challenge it of us here. It's a big challenge for us to bring this, our prayer request, our petition to God every day. Don't give up. Like what Luke chapter 18 advise us, don't lose heart. Now, prayer is a problem to many modern people. Many of people come to God in prayer only when they have needs or problem. You know, we, we need to find out this time, you know, how we come to God in prayer. i give you an example. If we took prayer seriously, then we would not hesitate to be persistent and consistent in the time we spend in conversation with God. In fact, if we really believe and making this as our petition in prayer, then no one and nothing would be able to keep us from praying. So, but the problem is that too often our earnestness and sincerity in prayer give way to discouragement. We simply give up. If you think this is a particularly modern problem, think again. Have you stopped praying? Friends, I will tell you this. Making our petition in prayer, that means keep on coming to Jesus and never give up. Don't give up. What we can study here in the background of Luke chapter 18, it was an issue back in Jesus' day. And so Jesus teaches his disciples about prayer through parables and words of encouragement. In Luke's gospel, one of the disciples asked Jesus, Lord, teach us to pray. No, it is not that the disciples had never prayed before, but that he seems something different in this way. 
Jesus prayed and wanted to learn more. You look, the disciples observe his master praying every day. So his disciples asked Jesus, Lord, teach us to pray. Today in Luke chapter 18, we hear Jesus teaching about prayer. Then as we look at this background, you know, there is most likely to the background of this, perhaps one of these disciples had become frustrated with praying because of it seems that God didn't hear or want to answer his prayer. Therefore, Jesus tells these parables about a truly disgusting judge. You know, this judge had no respect for justice and no feeling for the suffering of others like this poor widow. You know, you, you can see that in Jesus' days, during that time, there were those judges who were notorious for accepting bribes, you know, for being corrupt and perverting the cause of justice. We can see here this poor widow who has a case to bring to the judge. And she has nothing to offer as a bride. However, we can see here that one thing that this poor widow do, she kept on coming to see the judge and making a petition. Even though the judge wants nothing more to do with this woman, she does not give up. One thing for sure, she constantly appear in his office. Every day, early in the morning, this widow will come and sit down and waiting for him. She give him no peace. She is persistent. She wanted justice and she wanted it now. So let me tell you this. Today, we are going to listen two points that come out from Jesus' parables in Luke chapter 18. Number one, you can see here from Luke chapter 18, verse 3. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with a plea. Grant me justice against my adversary. You know, number one, we can look here at this, this point. The widow was in a helpless situation. And verse 3 describes how this widow in a big helpless situation. We can see that, you know, she pleaded to the judge, grant me justice as you are desperate like this woman. I believe you will make a petition in God in your prayer. Grant me God, grant me the answer. Come to him day and night. You know, this poor widow, she could have easily lose heart and give up. But what I can tell you this, she was poor to bribe the judge and lacking the influence of friends. The chances of having any success was zero. So we know this story very well. This widow was very helpless. So we can't blame her. That's why she kept, keep on coming to see this judge. In this case, with much of our praying, I believe that one of the big issues that we face in our prayer is that we do not come to God in helplessness and with an earnestness like the widow. We are often far too half-hearted about what we are praying. You know, I just want to tell you this. Like this woman, 
she kept hammering on God's door consistently asking seeking and knocking and waiting our trust sometimes fading we are tired sometimes we grow tired and angry friends i just want to share with you have you lately become frustrated of yourself after making several petition in prayer look at luke chapter 18 verse 1 the last part what jesus said they should always pray and not give up look at this verse 1 the word encourage us not to give up in the face of every difficulties we would not lose heart but constantly and persistently keep on going to god even though we have become discouraged do not give up and continue to make a petition to him our lord understand that what we go through he is always listening to us the bible records some of the prayer of people who have gone to god with their hopeless situation you know some of the bitterness complain about god you know i believe sometimes when we pray we always grumble with god when are we going to have this answer how long it going to wait you know you look at this example it's recorded in the book of psalm and the book of job the cry of bitter and angry people are recorded for us today you know rather than lose heart and give up on god they persistently call out to god making every petition in their prayer in psalms 22 verse 2 he said my god i cry in the daytime but you don't answer in the night season and am not silent you no know, if we have been easy that this widow give up it be so easy for this widow to give up everything you might look at the situation that you face chaos and trouble are in your life and even though the situation appear hopeless Jesus encourage us urge us not to lose faith but keep on praying keep on praying friends i got to share you my second point here as we discuss in Luke chapter 18 the parable says about the character of god now we got to understand the character of god here this parable is about trust worthiness and generous generosity of god we know this story the corrupt judge who had no real interest in the widow at his door will open his hand and answer the request of the widow then how much our heavenly father he cares for each of us the corrupt judge or the i will call it a crook judge can give what this widow asks for how much more will god who is gracious and kind give us what we pray for my dear fellow friends brothers and sisters in christ continue to make your petition in prayer be sincere in your prayer and bring your needs to him remember this what jesus said in matthew chapter 7 verse 9 to 11 the parable about the man who persistently knock 
on his neighbor's door at midnight. He said, Who is there among you? Who is his son? Ask him for bread. Will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, who will give him a serpent? If you then bring evil, know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more will your heavenly Father, who is in heaven, give good things to those who ask him? If earthly parents give good things to their children because they love him, then how our Heavenly Father who promised to love us and give good gifts. Our text today reassured us that God doesn't, God does hear our prayer. Just as the judge hear the widow in the pleadings. You know, today I just want to tell you this. We can take comfort in the knowledge that God is far more gracious than the dishonest judge is. The answer out of his goodness, kindness, and grace. My conclusion for you today, God may be waiting to answer our prayer. He is developing our faith in helping us build our spiritual muscles that we learn endurance and patience. We can see here the application. We need to make this petition to God and make our requests known to Him instead of trying things happen to ourselves. We also need to trust His wisdom in how and when He answers. Second application here is that prayer opens the doors for God to work. But our trying to get things in our own effort only frustrates us and hinders God. He is waiting for us to ask and trust His ways and timing. I believe God timing is always perfect. I just want to share with you, with you these three thoughts to take away. Number one, are we sincerely coming to the Lord in every petition of our prayer? Number two, are we persistent coming to Christ and bring all our needs in prayer? Number three, in what ways can you share your experience, how God has answered your prayer in your petition? Share among your fellow friends. I believe this will encourage your fellow friends that's always praying and waiting for God to answer. If God has answered your prayer, share with your experience how God has blessed you. And I believe you may encourage your fellow friends friends. Lastly, I believe that, you know, let us sing the song every day in our lives that when you make a petition of prayer, remember this, Christ is the answer to all my longings and Christ is the answer to all my needs. I believe when you make this petition in your prayer, believe that Christ is your answer. He is our answer to every needs that what we have. Let us pray at this time. Father, I want to pray for each of our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, we know that they come with needs, family needs, personal needs. Lord, many times when they come to you, their burdens are so heavy and they couldn't express much. But Lord, as we know, as they come to you with open heart, sincere heart, 
Lord, we see that God has to bring forth their daily needs, that they make this petition in their daily prayer. Father, I believe, O oh God, you will come and comfort their hearts, O oh God. You will come and just bring peace into their heart. That, Lord, that they may see that you are there for them. And, Lord, I pray as they come to you every day. Father, I believe, O oh God, that they may trust you, that you open every door for their needs, O oh God. And I believe they will see their daily prayer will be answered. Bless them, O oh God. Watch over them. And I commit each one of them to you. In Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Madami tayong natutunan sa mensaheng ito. Lalo na yung, ano, yung kwento patungkol doon sa persistent widow. Kung paano siya nagtyaga at hindi siya nag-give up sa isang uwes. Hanggang sa ang kanyang kahilingan sa judge na to ay uh, ipagkaloob ng judge. Itong judge na to naawa sa kanya at uh, sinagot ang kanyang uh, request na katarungan. Ganon din po sa ating uh, mga panalangin ngayon. Marahil ay uh, matagal na tayong lumalapit sa Diyos at hanggang ngayon ay hindi pa nating nakakamit ang, mga, ang sagot sa ating mga panalangin. Alam ko po na ang Diyos ay nakamasid sa atin, alam niya ang needs natin, Marahil ay uh, minomold niya ang ating karakter na tayo ay uh, magtyaga at, at sinasabi niyang huwag kang mag-give up, ibibigay ko din ang sagot sa iyo. Ano man po ito, hindi ko alam. Marahil ito ay relationship, maaring uh, uh, personal o malalim na sugat na kung saan ay nag, nang umihingi ka ng uh, kasagutan dito sa mga suliraning ito. Ngunit ang aral sa atin ay huwag tayong mag-give up. Lapit natin sa kanya at uh, antayin natin na siya ay tumugon o ang Diyos ay tumugon sa ating mga panalangin. Kung kaya't sa oras pong ito, nais kong ipanalangin ang bawat isa at uh, sa ating pong panalangin, sasabihin natin sa kanya na Panginoong Diyos, ako ay patuloy na magtitiwala sa iyo. Kung kaya't sandali po tayong Manalangin at ilapit natin muli ang kahilingan natin sa ating Panginoon Diyos. Panginoon, maraming pong salamat sa oras na to na kami ay tinuruan mo. Tinuruan mo kami kung paano ang magtyaga at magantay sa mga panalangin hanggang ngayon ay uh, hindi pa nagkakaroon ng kasagutan. Alam po namin, Panginoon Diyos, na ikaw ay hindi natutulog, ikaw ay nakikinig, Nalalaman mo ang aming mga needs, Panginoon. Lord, hindi ko po alam ang mga problema o solerani ng aking mga kapatid. Ngunit sa araw pong ito, nalalaman mo. Marahil ang iba sa kanila ay merong relationship problem. Maaring ang iba sa kanila ay merong karamdaman sa katawan. Ngunit Lord, kami po ay nagtitiwala na sa, sa, sa tamang panahon o sa sinasabing in your time, ikaw ay tutugon at magbibigay ng kasagutan sa aming mga panalangin. Kung kaya't Panginoon sa oras mong ito, hindi po nawawala ang aming pagtitiwala sa iyo, patuloy kaming kakapit at lalapit sa iyo hanggang sa makamtam namin ang sagot sa aming mga panalangin. Sa iyo po ang papurit pasalamat sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen and Amen. Magandang araw po sa ating lahat at sa muli po nating pagkikita sa Sabado, muli tayong magkita sa Zoom at uh, mag-invite pa kayo ng mga kaibigan nyo doon na pwede silang mag-join. Welcome po ang bawat isa. God bless po sa ating lahat at ang pagpapala ng Ama, ng Anak at ng Diyos Spirito Santo ay sa, sa mga ating lahat. Amen and Amen. God bless po.
Walang katulad, ikay nag-iisa.